Hello and welcome to Only Connect. Sorry I'm a bit out of breath, I was running late for my weekly auto asphyxiation workshop and that turned into quite a session. So, whew. quizzing tonight on my right, Mark Oxley, a physiotherapist who's terribly fond of his Bernese mountain dog, Bentley. John Wilson, a former IT professional who was once asked a question about coconut milk by Alan Hansen. And their captain, Mick Lee, an engineering graduate who served a world tour of sausages in his sister's living room. United by a yearning for York, they are the Vikings. You won your last match against the Wanderers. What have the Vikings been up to since then? Oh, it feels like, feels like it was very recent, but um, yeah, we've been uh, hard at work in the training camp. Um, if you picture some kind of uh, Shaolin monks of trivia, that's essentially been us. I'm enjoying picturing that right now. <laughs> well done. Tonight you are facing, on my left, Luke Kelly, a travel enthusiast who shares his name with the lead singer of the Dubliners. Rob Cumming, a rabbit fan who has a pet rabbit and was born in the year of the rabbit. And their captain, Julia Hobbs, a marketing graduate who owns a pig-shaped sandwich toaster and has never used it to make a bacon sandwich. All interrogators by trade, they are the Inquisitors. You won your last match against the Eco Warriors. What have you been up to since then? Um, we've done a lot of sitting in a darkened room watching old episodes of Only Connect just to sort of get pumped. Excellent. Well, our viewers can relate to that. Many of them <laughs> sit in darkened rooms. Not necessarily for that reason, but they like to sit there. <laughs> you won the toss, Inquisitors, so you'll be going first. Which hieroglyph would you like? The uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. So it's um, the the Apple's design guru is Ives. So it's I have Ive, and we'd, we had we had wet married is wed. That's what it is exactly. That the top bit, if you shorten it to shield and then take out the apostrophe, you get another word for bombard. Shell. So. Yep. Shield, shell, bombard. We Wind. had wed, married. She had shed, lost hair. And it's it's Ive. It's not Ives. So Jonathan Ive. Ive yep. I have. Well done. Spotting the word one. Vikings. What would you like? Uh, water, please. Water. It's the music question. What do these musical clues have in common? Here's the first. <laughs> uh, next, please. Next one, please. We need to keep going, we can't even name that. Next, please. You were the grace, the place to sell. Okay, so. Lives oh, but did he rename it for that? You called out to our country. Two seconds. Okay, then, uh, flowers. Not the connection, oh. I'm afraid. Inquisitors, you'll never go for a bonus point. Uh, wind? That's not it either. You all recognise the last piece. What was that? Um, goodbye, England's Rose. That's right. That was the reworking of Candle in the Wind, Elton John's version for Princess Diana's funeral. And all of the pieces were from the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales. Libera May from Verdi's Requiem. Guide me, O thou great redeemer, was the second piece. And the song for Athene, John Taverner. They were all pieces played at that funeral service for Princess Diana. Inquisitors, what would you like? Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. What's that? Chicken. Could be. Next, please. Yes, yeah, the battles. 
Very well done. They are named after battles. Let me show you the two clues you didn't need and talk me through them. So I think the first one's chicken merengue. Chicken merengue, exactly. And what is that battle? Um, that's uh, one of Napoleonic, uh, Napoleon's battles. 1800 yeah. battle, yes. Uh, and then you've got Blenheim Palace, mm -hmm. Battle of Blenheim. That's yeah. right. The Blenheim Palace was given to the first Duke of Marlborough after the Battle of Blenheim in 1704. Mm -hmm. And okay. what else are we looking at? Is it the cop? It is the cop, yes. That oh, was yeah. nicknamed yes. after Spy and Cop, yeah. Lookout Hill, because it's sort of slanted ground. It's a 1900 battle. Yeah. And the last one is, of course... The Marathon. The Marathon, named yeah. after the Battle of Marathon. Very well spotted after just two clues. Vikings, what would you like? Horned Viper, The please. Horned Viper. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next place. Do we know anything about LT? No. Okay, next place. Well, that's when the dodo became extinct, so it's probably oh, when the passenger pigeon. Yes, it is when birds became extinct. Oh, brilliant. Um, I'm not sure why I was quite that happy about it, but it's when their uh, birds became extinct. Which brilliant! Was... Extinction! That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> but it is brilliant. That's very well spotted. You only needed three clues. What birds are we talking about? It would be the mower. The mower is a yeah. sort of ostrich-like oh. flightless bird. Is Eldie the Great Orc? It would be the Great Orc. They were killed on Eldie, a little island off uh, Iceland, in 1844. The dodo. The dodo. The passenger, passenger pigeon. pigeon. Yeah. That's right, the passenger pigeon. The last known one. Do you know what it was called? Oh, no, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Martha, in honour of the First Lady. Martha Washington died at Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. Do you know what's interesting about the Pyrenean ibex? It's one of these Lazarus animals which was, was extinct and then was kind of brought back. That's it. It was the first ever species to become unextinct. It was cloned in 2009. Unfortunately, the clone only lived for seven minutes and yeah. died again. <laughs> but it was, it was made unextinct. Well done, good extra knowledge. So two points to you, Vikings. Inquisitors, what would you like? A twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. Next, please. Okay. I'm informed by my colleagues that these are um, what was done with the remains of the person in in the question. <laughs> it is about ashes. Yes, this is a cheery episode, isn't it? We had a funeral, <laughs> now we're talking about ashes. Absolutely right. So, let's have a chat yeah, about these clues. Yeah. What's going on at clue one? Uh, I don't know what they did, but presumably they, they smoked, smoked, smoked him. Yes, <laughs> apparently in his song... Do you say song, rap, peace, <laughs> black Jesus? He said, last wishes, and then something I think I don't want to say, last wishes, my dear friends and colleagues, <laughs> smoke my ashes. And apparently his band, Outlaws, mixed his ashes with dope and smoked them. Although, wouldn't that just make more ashes? Yeah. And uh, who's Fred Bauer? So he's the designer of the Pringles can and was his ashes were put into a Pringles can. Can. That's right, he wanted to be buried in a, in a Pringles can and his children went to the supermarket to choose one and his son Larry said, my siblings and I debated which flavour to use <laughs> but I said, look, we need to use the original. I mean, that's, I mean to be, to be uh, buried in the cheese and onion flavour would just be undignified, <laughs> wouldn't it? It would be undignified. And uh, who's James Doohan? He is Scotty from Star Trek. That's right, his yeah. ashes went into space. And Hunter S. Thompson, his ashes were fired from a cannon. Who paid for that? Johnny Depp, yeah, cost him a mint as well. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Depp paid for that. So, very well done. Again, three points after two clues. And back to you, Vikings, for the last question of the round, the two reads. You'll be seeing a series of clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Uh, OK, well, we need next, don't we? Uh, next, please. Um, both don't, some titles with don't, don't turn around his ass, well, yeah. don't look back yeah. in anger, yeah. 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 so yeah. shall we? Yeah. yeah. How about that? Don't. This is some top quizzing. Don't is the connection. I'm going to show you all four clues. What's happening here? <laughs> uh, well, don't turn around is uh, Aswad. Um, don't look back in anger would be Oasis. Don't chirp would be the Pussycat Dolls. Yeah. Um, don't call me 
Baby, right, that's 80s, isn't it? Madison. it no, uh, Voice of the Beehive? Yeah, Voice of the Beehive or, Wait, Madison, or Madison Avenue from 2000. Ah, yes. Exactly so. You put don't in front of all of them and you get UK number ones. Very well done. Now, it means at the end of a lovely round one, the Vikings have five points, the Inquisitors have seven. Great relief for both teams as that round comes to an end and we go on to round two. Will there be a music sequence? Here's hoping. <laughs> Inquisitors, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, we'll take two reads, please. The two reads. What would come fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. It's on Sunday. Sunday, our friends. I need to hear something specific. Our best friends? Not it, I'm afraid. Vikings, you want to have a go for a bonus point? Um, Sunday tea with our friends? It's not. They are toasts. It's Sunday oh. absent friends. Oh. These are Royal Navy toasts after dinner oh. in wardrooms on land or at sea. On a Thursday, they would toast a bloody war or a sickly season. A sickly season meaning sort of high casualties and that surviving members of the crew might be promoted, so you do sort of wish for that, oddly. Friday, a willing foe and sea room. Saturday, they toast our families, and Sunday, it would be absent friends. Now, it wasn't always our families. Do you know what it used to be? The Queen? <laughs> oh, so it's not like mistresses and wives and mistresses. It, it, you know, well, they didn't say mistresses. The, to the official toast was on Saturday, our wives and sweethearts, yeah. and then the men would shout, may they never meet. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and they changed that in 2013 because of women at sea. The women had been at sea for sort of 20 years or more. They changed it. Although, I think that's so typical. They, they took the humour away. They just made it our families. Because you could have said, our spouses and sweethearts, and then you could still say, may they never meet. Uh, but no, no, they, they've got to take the joking away. So it became our families. Royal Navy toasts and absent friends would have been next. Vikings, what would you like? Uh, the Eye of Horus. Please. The Eye of Horus. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Oh, was that egg? Was that egg? Was it egg or was it... Um... Oh, I had, like, a black logo. Uh, let's go with this. Let's stick with egg. Um, next, please. Isn't this? Oh, it's probably, it must be the, um... Oh, is it very hungry caterpillar? No, it, it, it's, it's the stages of a... Of a so, of Cupa a, and then a yeah, butterfly. Yeah, it's or or whatever, yeah. It's so, 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 probably best at Are we ending as a good guy? If we're ending as a butterfly, tell me something that's a butterfly then, other than, well, a knife. A red apple, right? Or a swimming stroke? Swimming stroke, right, yeah. Right, right. shall we? I think so. Yeah, probably. A swimming stroke. A swimming stroke or the back of an earring, something like that, would be an acceptable answer. What's happening in this sequence? Um, that's the life cycle of a butterfly. Bloody wrong, chrysalis. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's exactly yeah, so. It's Britain's dynamo. first internet bank, as you spotted early, was egg. It did very well, and then it sort of disappeared in the dot-com boom, didn't it? It was a victim of that. Continuous track on a tank. It's a caterpillar. The, the rolling bit underneath started on tractors and uh, went on to tanks. Blondie's record label was chrysalis and then butterfly. Back to you, Inquisitors. Lion, please. Lion, OK. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Uh, why selenium is the right answer. What's going on here, Rob? Um, why B-E, why C, why A-U, why because? That's exactly so. We're shortening the elements, of course. So beryllium becomes B-E, carbon C, gold A-U, B-E, C, A-U, and selenium is S-E. Why? Because. because. Vikings, your turn for a choice. 
Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. OK, these are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Oh, right. Um, next, please. So that's um, Quentin Wilson. I'm not sure no, it is. No, I think he's... Uh, I think we need next, don't we? Next, please. That is Mark Lawson. Humphrey something lost. Is this Chancellors of the Exchequer? We have a dozen many Humphreys, hasn't it? Is it the second one, Jonathan Trot? OK. Does that help? Well, you've got Mark, Mark, John, and... Oh, so you want a Luke, do you? Two seconds. Uh, Luke Haynes, lead singer of the auteurs. I'm afraid that would not complete a sequence. So, Inquisitors, do you want to have a go for a bonus? Naughty. Not it, I'm afraid. Vikings, what did you think the sequence was? Well, I now realise it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the wrong way around. It's Evangelist. The problem is your second clue is Luke Harvey, the Luke jockey Harvey, yeah. and broadcaster. Yeah. It is Evangelist and it goes John, Luke, Mark. We're going backwards to a Matthew. We've got Matthew Paris, best known, of course, for being on the Goldfingers team and a charity <laughs> special of Only Connect, the former MP, Great Times columnist. Did you ever see that episode? He was on with Charlie Higson and Daisy Goodwin. He was against uh, Rosie Boycott, Richard Osman and Clark Carlisle. Richard Osman, of course, almost unbeatable uh, on the quiz. Richard Osman had a ridiculous round of ways to leave your lover on the missing vowels. I mean, he was shouting them before the clues had even come up. <laughs> no points there, then. Inquisitors, what would you like? Water, please. Water. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. They're not cricket counter command, it's not a cricket counter, is it? Is it the number of clubs that are around them? Cornwall, one Cornwall. Uh, one Cornwall. Mm, not the answer, unless you've got an alternative sequence. We were thinking. That was the number of counties, counties that were around them. Oh, no. That's, that doesn't work as a sequence. No. Vikings, do you want to have a go for a bonus? One, Cleveland. And why would that be? Because we're swinging wildly at a gas. <laughs> Let me ask you this question, Vikings. How will you be getting home after the series is complete? In my motor car. Oh, yeah. Oh, and what route will you be taking? I'll be taking the M1. The M1 Cleveland. towards West Yorkshire. And Cleveland. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> that is clue four. These are motorways and where they finish. The M4 goes from West London to Pont Abraham in Carmarthenshire. M3 also from West London to Southampton in Hampshire. The M2, it's, it's entirely in Kent. And the M1 goes from London to Leeds in West Yorkshire. How rueful you'll feel as you look at the signs on the way home. But you may have the horned viper question. That remains. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yeah, OK. Now, oh, this is backwards in the Bourne films. The latest one was Jason Bourne's. The first one, um, as you'll have seen on Lady Vito, a lot of times is identity, is it? Are you good with them? Um, ultimatum, etc. being in there. It's low stakes, we can hot dog a bit, shall we? Yeah, real fair, mate. OK. The born identity. Nice hot dogging, but I'm afraid no buns for you because <laughs> that is not the sequence we have in mind. So I'm going to show the next two clues to the Inquisitors for a possible bonus. Hmm. These are the last in... in... I can't give so, you long. Oh, um, oh. Nope, you don't know. No. What sequence were you thinking of? Well, we were thinking it was the Jason Bourne films in reverse order. If that were the sequence, it would have been supremacy anyway. But I'm afraid <laughs> that's, uh, that's not the sequence. It is the Bourne films part five. Yeah. Indiana Jones, oh, The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull amazing. was the fourth in that series. Bridget Jones, Baby, was the third. So we wanted to hear a film that was the second in the series. For example, Basic Instinct 2, yeah. we went with. Yes, it is fifth, fourth, third and second parts of a film series. But I like your gambling. And it's a new phrase to me, hot-dogging. <laughs> yeah. What does it mean? Gambling? Um, uh, Shoreboarding. Oh, OK. Yeah. I like you it. You get it from uh, oh, skiing and uh, other sports. Oh, that's why I don't know it. I stay away from those. <laughs> that means at the end of round two, the Vikings have eight points, the Inquisitors have nine.
on to the connecting wall now. And Vikings, you'll be going first this time. Would you like lion or water? Water, please. OK, you've got two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Um, clip on tie, kip a tie. Foreign hand is a knot, yeah, so is Ascot for that matter. Oh, oh Ascot is a tie. Clip on foreign hand, and blow, I think, could be a few other things. Yeah, so it's got kip kipper and bloater is also smoked fish sauce. So is it? Yeah. It yeah, has the look of one, doesn't it? Oh, we just went there, didn't we? Um, right. Well, foreign hand is a tiger. I'll have a play with this if you want to yeah. keep going. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it the bolo size as well? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's a bolo tie. It's what the cowboys wear, isn't it? Oh, oh, that right. Right. Um, let's go fish then. Uh, we'll mark kippa. Blow that. Blow that. Put them? No. Try and try some strong again. Uh, I think we did. Oh, yeah. uh, let's take bloater out, maybe. Oh, uh, no, okay, right. Duckling floater. Yeah. No, no, no. Anything else? Life of Brian. Oh, are these, um, those are, uh, uh, no, anagrams. Anagrams yeah, of one another, but there's nothing else, is there? No. Yeah, okay, so Life of Brian, Life of. You can take a photo, I mean, take a chance. Great. You can take a bow. Yes, you can. Take a bow. Axe eight. Oh, nice. Right. Three lives now. Astrophysics. Astrophysics, Astro Boy. Uh, Astro... Characters, oh. uh, Kip is a kid's character. Yes, he is, so is Brian. Oh. It's Brian. Brian is... Brian yeah. is in uh, Thunderbird, so... Astro. Astro... Well, there's Astro Boy, and the rest of them look Have kind of fishy, but yeah. I think we've been wrong. You've solved the wall. Very well done. What about the connecting points? Tell me about the first group, starting Ascot. Uh, they're ties, they're neckwear. That's right, they're all ties. And the green group, photograph, chance, backseat and bow or bow. And take her. Things you can take. Take a photograph, take a chance, take a back seat, take a bow. And the next one. Kipper, Astro, Brian, Brain. Um, they are um, children's cartoon characters. They need to hear something specific. Dogs. They are cartoon dogs. And the last group. Buckling, Sur Stroming, Bloater and Rollmop. Uh, prepared fish. Preserved. There is one word I need Smoked. to hear. Come on, Herring. Stop. Herring, yes. Herring. Yeah. Yes, we need to be specific. They are fish, specifically herring. They are herring dishes. Are you familiar with Sir Stroming? Is that the one that's so, pickled for years and it's awful and oh. smells horrendous? The smell is so foul that it can only be eaten outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> they stop serving it on planes. Yes, so it's illegal to carry it on buses, isn't it? Or something? Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> I thought there was some in the studio the other day, but it was just the crew. You solve the wall. You found four groups, you got the four connecting points, you get the bonus, that's a maximum of ten. Let's bring in the Inquisitors now, give them the other wall, see what they can do about solving it. You've got two and a half minutes to solve the Lion Wall, starting now. Does mine get water out? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This, these are places in okay. York, uh, Swine Gate, Shambles. Shambles, Pavement. Well. Um, bunga Bunga was a scandal. Watergate was a scandal. Farago. It's a kind of a scandal. What about Teapot Dome? Sounds teapot like dome. a scandal. Mm. 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 Yeah, no, no, go for it. Flash sale. So if we've got scandals, Rainbow Warrior was kind of a scandal as well. Should we go for sales? Yeah, go on. Right. Right. So I think Teapot Dome is a, is a, is a, is a scandal. Hodge Podge. Yes. You can make a Farrago of something. Yeah. And a Gallimuffery has to be that, because God knows what that other word's going to be. Go, go so Gallim we think Rainbow Warrior must be part of the scandals with yeah. Bunga Bunga Watergate and Teapot yeah. Dome. You've solved the wall. Amazing. Very well done. Let's look for the connections. Shambles, Pavement, Swine Gate, Whitma Whatma Gate. They are places in York. They are. Yes, I wonder what would have happened if the other team had chosen that. Mind you, they could hardly have solved it faster than mm. you. Have you yeah. actually been to York? Or you just, uh -huh. this is... yeah. Yeah. Luke, you have been literally flooded. everywhere. <laughs> Every place that comes out. Have you ever been to Mongolia? Actually, I was there for a few years back in the day. Amazing. You, you have the uh, interior life of somebody that was 400 years old. <laughs> and the skin. <laughs> <laughs> and the green group. January, Jumble, Car Boot, Flash. They are types of sale. They are types of sale. Well done. 
And the next group starting Gallimo Free. Um, they are ways to make a mess of things. Exactly. All things you didn't do with that wall. Farago, hash, hodgepodge, all words for muddle. And the last one. Bunga Bunga, Rainbow Warrior, Watergate, Teapot Dome. They are scandals of a political nature. That's right, of. political scandal. Yeah, because the, the Rainbow Warrior, that was when the Greenpeace ship was sunk by French agents, mm. so that caused a lot of political fallout. And uh, Bunga Bunga is what? Uh, that's Berlusconi's parties. Exactly, his <laughs> special parties. Yes. So, four points for the groups you found, four points for the connections, and the bonus, that is a maximum of ten points. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Vikings have 18 points, the Inquisitors have 19 points. So, two perfect walls mean the pressure is on for round four, the Missing Vowels round. Fingers on buzzers, teams. I can tell you that the first group are all 100. Inquisitors? Cents in a dollar. Correct. Well, why would anyone know that here? Average IQ score, 100. Inquisitors? Some of the first nine primes. Very well done. Inquisitors? Zeros in a Google. Correct. Next category, plays merged with TV shows. Vikings? The Woman in Black Mirror. Correct. Inquisitors? Romeo and Juliet Bravo. Yes, it is. Vikings? And Game of Thrones. Correct. Inquisitors. A doll's house of cards. Correct. Next category, nicknames of European cities. Inquisitors. The Eternal City. Rome. Vikings. The City of Light. Paris. Vikings. Owl's Reiki. Cameraman 2. Vikings. Pearl of the Danube. Giving the answer, the Pearl of the Danube, just as the bell goes, that is correct, Budapest. But it's the end of the quiz. And after some really brilliant quizzing by all six of you, I can tell you that the winners, and straight through to the semi-final with 25 points, are the Inquisitors. And a brilliant 23 points for you, Vikings. You will get another chance to go through to the semi-final later in the series. But very well done, everybody. Really uh, great stuff from all of you. And before we go, I just want to share a lovely message I've received from a group of viewers since last week. Hello. We're super intelligent mollusks from the future who feast on human flesh. And we just like to say how much we love watching reruns of Only Connect to whet our appetites for eating your descendants. We do quite well on the round one and two questions, but being mollusks, we do tend to get stuck on the wall. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Goodbye. <laughs>